Hello everyone. Today we'll learn about the properties and styling of the Tabs widget. A tab contains a number of defined containers that can be navigated through the Tabs titles where each tab acts as a container that can have different widgets in it. We'll drag and drop it from the widget's inventory and inspect it. We're able to inspect the following properties. Let's cover them one by one. Tabs. This property lets you add and remove containers in the tabs widget. This field expects an array of objects where each object is defined as the container in the tab having its unique ID and title. Let's update it with the following values and see what the widget looks like. We'll add a few widgets to different tabs present here. From the widget's inventory drag and drop a text widget in the home tab, in the profile tab let's drop a date picker, and similarly, in the settings tab, we'll drop a number input. You can place the specific widgets as per UI requirements. Now clicking on any tabs allows us to watch these widgets in their respective containers. Default tab. This property selects the container in the tab which matches the corresponding ID. By default, the value is set to zero. Hide tabs. It allows you to hide the tab titles that we defined above. It accepts Boolean values which can also be set programmatically by clicking on the FX button. Events. We can add an event handler for the following widget. We have got an onSwitch tab event that will run when we click on the tab titles. I'm adding the following value. Now when we switch the tabs the event will be triggered and we can see the pop-up message. Tool tip. Under the general accordion, you can set the value of a tool tip. Let's try it out by entering the following value. Now when we hover on the widget we find the tooltip with the assigned value. Layout. Toggle on or off to display the widget in desktop and mobile view. You can programmatically determine the value by clicking on FX to set a Boolean value. Now let's explore styling this widget by clicking on the Styles tab. Let's explore the following options. Highlight color. It represents the active tab. We can change the highlight color of the selected tab to a different one. Let's try this out. Visibility. We can toggle it on or off to control the visibility of the widget. I'm keeping it to its default value for now. Disable. Toggle on to lock the widget. If toggled on, we won't be able to select the widget and it becomes non-functional. You can programmatically set both the above values by clicking on the FX button. It accepts a Boolean value. Our final tabs widget will look like this. I hope you found this video informative. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe to our channel for the latest updates.